Every day, we interact with various things that change who we are. Some of them are negative, but some are positive. At last, we meet people who make the smallest gesture that makes a difference within us. How would you describe that person who has impacted your life? Reliable. Empathetic. Irreplaceable. Cooperative. Committed. He was a very interesting person at first. And then when you get to meet him at a very personal level, you learn so much. I feel like I learned so much with him. As like if I had taken a whole class over it, which I hadn't, I, it was high school, you know what I mean? Like you don't, what, what can you learn in high school? You would think, no, I will learn it in college. He was the person that introduced me to broadcast journalism. Honestly, I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do going into high school. Like I knew I wanted to do something that I was like passionate about and where I could kind of like travel a little bit and I wouldn't have just like an everyday office job. And then he introduced me to the newscast and that's kind of just where like my spark or my passion for um, journalism and just wanting to be a news, inc news anchor started. Welcome, McKenna. How are you? He took his students to a more advanced level. Like he actually wanted you to learn and he will teach you what he knew, which was a lot. And he wanted you to do it. We did so much. I feel like I know so much over the topic that a lot of people would think, well, how do you know that? Did you go to college for it? Like, no, I didn't. I just had a teacher who focused and who actually cared and actually wanted us to learn what he knew. I recall James as being a student who would want to show up in class, and believe me, that in itself says something. He was uh, a major in communication arts with a concentration in journalism, but journalism is a pretty broad uh, area. Uh, he was a non-traditional student, so he stood out in the respect that he was, you know, older than the other students, but he seemed very comfortable in the classroom. The fact that he went into teaching, I think, is, is very interesting. Uh, I had no idea he would be going into teaching when he was my advisee. When I found out he was a teacher, I was pleased to hear that, and especially teaching high school. More than a tennis coach, he has been a father figure to me. I know that whenever I was struggling, whether it was in tennis, school, or at home life, and he always made sure to explain it to us patiently and carefully to make sure that we understood it. And if it, even if it took us like the entire day to understand a topic that he was talking about or if we were doing something wrong, he would stick with us and he would always have that patience with us when we didn't understand something. He helped me in ways I think he doesn't even realize he helped me. Earlier when I applied for my Smith Hudson Scholarship for the full ride scholarship to Sam Houston, I literally wrote about him. Like he was the reason why I wanted to do broadcast journalism and want to be an anchor. A part of me feels like if it wasn't for him and if I wouldn't have taken his broadcast journalism um, class in high school, I would have probably never developed that passion. If it was any other professor, I feel like he, they wouldn't have had as much of an impact as Longoria did on me. He's definitely very strong, very creative individual, very artistic. Um, very detail oriented, which is I think something that's always drawn me to him and, and has taken our relationship beyond just a professional level, but even um, as a friendship that is, you know, transcended, I mean, to this point in time. In all the years I've known him, I mean, it's, you know, 25, 30 years now, I believe it's, um, I've never seen him lose his cool. I never have, and something about him that he's always been able to do uh, which is something that is not a common trait in people, is the ability to adjust to situations, the ability to uh, find solutions, uh, I mean, on the fly. He would provide the sense of calmness to
to the situation, you know, different times, I mean, different situations, the list is very long. And it's just his ability to, to adjust, which is, is not very common in people, you know. He, he finds a way to put his emotions aside and just deal with the task at hand and find solutions. So I think he's a very solution-based person in my experience, and I've known him a very, very long time. When I think of James, I think about uh, a student I met, James had already said, I wanted him to see UIW, and uh, I think he had a real impact on uh, Antonio so that Antonio looked at UIW, and he came over to the campus, and, and I think I was involved in a tour at that time, uh, giving a little bit more of a description of what's going on, and Antonio became one of my students, at least in my journalism class and the internship class. The fact that he had an impact on this young man who also made an impact on UIW and even continues so. He always tried to open doors for me and made sure that I know that I am worth a lot more than I thought I was worth. And I could always count on him to help me, to give me words of motivation and encourage me to never stop following your dreams. I know I didn't really have much of a dream and I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school, but Coach Longoria always made sure to remind us that even if we don't know where we are right now, if we're not in a stable place, that there's always something better in the future waiting for us. I saw him change other people's lives and I saw him, it wasn't until like after I graduated that I realized how much he actually changed my life too. And to know that just a teacher, a stranger, which he was a stranger, like can have so much impact in you, it tells you that that person is a really great person. I'm glad that he was part of, of uh, my music life and, and beyond that, uh, the friendship that we've you know, developed and continue to grow over time. Anyone who got to meet him, I feel like, I don't know, almost got like a privilege, like, I don't know, or how, I don't know how to put it into words, but I guess it was a privilege getting to have him as a teacher, even though I wish I had more time with him. But also he just, I don't know, he was just there as more than just a professor. Like he was, he felt like a second, like dad to me. Like he would always give me advice about literally anything. Um, if I was going through something, some silly little like boy problems like in high school, he was just always there as more than just a teacher. Ultimately, the big takeaway, the big lesson in life is that change is evident. Whether we initiate the change or like in my case where injury or the change in the economy created a change in my life, it is evident. And there's only two ways to react to change. It's something that I pass on to my students and my friends and colleagues, is that you can react to change positively or negatively. Now, truth be told, there was my fair share of times where I acted negatively. But ultimately, reacting positively to change allows that change to initiate something new in your life. A perfect example, and being fully transparent, when I changed my career path to become an educator, I wanted to secure a job a job with benefits. I didn't want to have to travel, and I wanted an opportunity to have a good home so that my daughter could come live with me. Well, the reality was that I ended up having hundreds of sons and daughters that came through my classroom or on my tennis court. And the beautiful thing about that and accepting that change and reacting positively to it was that those exact students that graduated, went through my classroom, and played tennis with, and played on my courts, they became my peers. They became my colleagues, and in some cases, my best friends. James was the person who uniquely delivered a positive impact on his former students, family, 
and friends. Always accept help from the people nearest and dearest to you. You will never know how their support will make the smallest or biggest outcome for you.